Hi everyone, I'm Elliot. Welcome back to another episode of Are You Cleverer Than a Typical Singaporean? In which we challenge our contestants to demonstrate their financial literacy knowledge. So make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, while this show may all be fun and games, you will learn something. For this episode, I have two very close friends of mine who I've worked with numerous times. Lady Boss Daddy's Chum! And our boys to men, Maxi Lim! Yes! Here are the rules. Today, I have three challenges or questions for you guys. If you know the answer, hit the buzzer. If you get it right, your opponent does the forfeit. But if you get it wrong, and even though your opponent doesn't know anything, you will do the forfeit. Every episode, we have a different forfeit, and today, it's the Wheel of Misfortune! Woo! So this is how the forfeit works. If you get it wrong, if you're the loser, you have to spin the wheel and wherever it lands on, you'll have to wear a costume for the rest of the episode. Is it this one? No, this is not a costume! <laughs> My mother picked this, she said I look cute! Okay, are you ready for the first challenge or not? Yeah. Okay, let's go, this room. Alright, so here is the box of stuff. You have to organise them in the most logical way possible. What is the most logical and when you're way? you're done, you press the buzzer. The most logical way. What is most in what the sense? The most logical way! When you guys are ready, in 3, 2, 1, start! Maxi? Yeah? What do you get? Box of soft toys. What kind of soft toys? Yeah, quite soft, quite soft, quite soft. Oh, yeah, yeah soft! <laughs> I'm sawing them based on average. <laughs> there is a real correct answer, guys, for this one. So, serious? Yeah, you just need to think logically, like, what do these things have and how can I arrange them? Okay. Ah. Okay, I have one more thing to give you. He's ready to leave. What? She's getting a dog? So, now this might complicate things. Oh, we just need to guess this. He doesn't want to be sorted! <laughs> Alright, it's over, it's over. What's your reason for going from there to here? So, my logic is soft to hard. The cat is both soft and hard. Oh, hard because you get built in. Right, right. Yeah, then it gets harder and harder until you reach Ultraman. Ultraman is the hardest. Okay, yeah. great, great, great. Alright, so we're back. And the winner of this round goes to. Maxi! Huh? Yes! <laughs> Yay! Yes. Actually, the only right answer in this game is to finish first. Just if you sort it out and you have a clear plan, you have a logical answer, then you finish the game. So today's challenge demonstrates the principle of decision paralysis. Does it mean that like, you know, I am... Nope. You were given a lot of options, but then you didn't really know what it will look like at the end of the game or when it's going to happen. All you knew is that there were options and you had to sort things out. Of course, this is not to say that you shouldn't plan at all. Instead, make an informed decision and plan early. Start today. Which means, Janice, you get to spin the wheel of misfortune. Come on down! Woo! Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah, really? Like, nice. Happy Lobster. Oh, what that's is great. Happy Lobster. Let's bring out the costume! Alright, so now, we we'll move on to the next challenge and let me explain how this works. Over there, you can see some office chairs and in the middle, there's a table with two bowls of noodles. You'll start at opposite ends and only use momentum to move yourself towards the table. So, when you reach the table, can you can do one of two things. A, you can add chilli powder to your opponent's bowl or B, you can remove chilli powder from your own bowl. You have five <laughs> minutes for this race. I'm gonna love this challenge. Oh, oh, it's, it's, great. Great. <laughs> it's going to be It's going to be great, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and one last thing, your feet cannot touch the ground. Wow. So you can you can like roll the boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's go! Okay, so you all have five minutes. Get ready! Are your marks? Get set, go! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's great. The, the humping method is, oh, is powerful. So that's a powerful yeah. method. Can. I give up. You know what, Elliot? What? I'm going to use my hands. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can. You hey, use I'm your moving, hands. I'm moving, I'm moving. This is fast. <laughs> but I'm not moving straight. <laughs> okay. okay, so Janice can do one thing. What is this? <laughs> He's stuck. I'm lost. Hey, hey what? That is damn cruel. That is damn cruel. Okay, I'm so sorry. Man. Hey, your <laughs> rowing trick <laughs> is bluff on eh. Be more, be more. Okay, yes. She added so much. Yeah, she's them. She's one kind. She's one kind. <laughs> if. Friend, why don't you turn your your chair then you push yourself you pull yourself back? Jia la for her, see so much. Yeah, let this woman die. Very naughty girl. 
I think you can do what she's doing also. Yeah, she's cheating. Yeah, that one is really our boys to men training. Lobster hands, you got this. Come on. Lucky best. So Janice decides to add another spoonful. This is crazy. Hey. Janice. <laughs> you guys are playing it as though you don't care about what's in your bowl. Hey, yeah, make sure I'm... Hold on. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna help you out, help you out, help you out, help you out. This is called retribution. <laughs> Maxi is almost on action number three already. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna scoop out from your own bowl? Yeah, you should just try. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no! What's that? Nothing, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm nothing. gonna see something soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she added more to your bowl. One scoop, right? One scoop, one scoop. One on the same hand, one right? Spoon. <laughs> I mean, this is not. This is okay, right? This is okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't. I can use two spoons also. You remember to never cook with you guys ever again. <laughs> you literally cheat in front of his face. You can only do one of two things. A, put the chili into his bowl. One of two things: remove chili from my bowl or add chili to his bowl. Oh my goodness! This bowl is empty at the moment. You're supposed to transfer the chili into here. Come on, Janice. You're this close to winning. You're this close to winning, Jen. I'm the lobster. Yes, you are what you are currently on, on par and action. Um, and I'm a crab, you see? I think Maxi is totally out of the, out of the system already. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, you guys can rest now. You guys can rest now. I, wow. I really feel for you guys, man. The level of Shaq is next level. Congrats, Jen. You're one action ahead of Maxi. But you totally cheated! Alright, so at the end of that round, looks like Janice finally won! Yeah. Woo! Yes, alright. So, does anyone here know the concept of this game? Yeah, I'll still okay, spicy food, is it? No! <laughs> it's the idea of opportunity cost. When you do one action, such as scooping chili in your opponent's bowl, you lose the opportunity to scoop out chili from your own bowl. But in this case, because Janice cheat, she scoop her own bowl and add it to yours. Okay, so in relation to life, Every time you choose to spend your time doing something unproductive, you actually give up the chance to do something better with that time. Without further ado, Maxi, you have to press that buzzer. <coughs> Alright, let's see what the Wheel of Misfortune has for you today! Vintage Diva! Producer! Okay, let's get in that costume. And first we have Feather Boas! Who's a pretty girl? Look at those stilettos. How huh? is he gonna fit into them? I don't even know, man. Alright, so on to our next and final challenge for the day. So you guys thought you were adding chili to each other's bowls, right? Yeah. Um, let's have you guys lift them up. And right below, you can actually see the names of who the bowl belongs to. <laughs> and that will be part of the next challenge. You're supposed to eat, finish the bowl that has your name on it. So I'll just take Which that is from you. Quite obvious. And that's for you. Okay, you go. Great. So it was really good job when you were like, yeah, hey, should add more into my bowl. Uh. Yeah, it's really good, really good. For the next challenge, what's gonna happen is that you guys are both gonna we're gonna give you a pair of chopsticks and you're gonna eat. The fastest person to finish. I can use chopsticks. Wins. Can. You can also like, put your face inside as well. I don't mind. So all you have to do is finish the bowl of noodles in front of you, right? The first one to do it wins. But in front of you is also a glass of milk. Now, if you drink it while you're still finishing the bowl, that's all you're gonna get. But if you don't touch a glass of milk until you're completely done, you'll get unlimited amounts of milk later. Ken? Wow, yeah. Her hands are handicapped, but my legs are handicapped. <laughs> Heels are killing me. Then you're at advantage. You better win this one. So are you ready? On your marks, get set, eat! Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. It's not cold, you know, it's so dry and yeah, powdery. Powder. <laughs> no, hey, must mix, eh? must mix, must mix. Heels are killing me, my calves are killing me, my taste bud is killing me. It's disgusting, it tastes terrible. Hey, Maxi, I know, I know you need it. I know you need the milk, bruh. No, I got something to teach you. The early bird always get the worms. Jen, I think it's time, I think it's time, it's time. Ah. Yeah, I can't, I can't. Hey, if she drink the milk, that means she give up, right? No, no, no. You must, you must still finish the bowl of noodles. You must still finish the bowl of noodles, guys. Uh. The first one to finish is still the winner. Tell you, tell you, tell you. Come on. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. So the winner is Maxi. Even though you obviously don't look like you actually won the game. You're sweating like crazy. 
you can you can drink. You know, we're gonna give you lots and lots of free milk. You okay or not? You okay or not, boss? Yeah, I'm sorry, boss. I didn't mean to put you through this, boss. So the idea of this contest and this challenge is delayed gratification. Delayed gratification. That's right. So when you were eating it, then you had that small glass of milk first. You were instantly getting gratification. So. Good job, Maxi, for not touching your glass of milk at all. Yes, I'm willing to suffer to pleasure myself later. Yes, that's yeah, exactly. That's the way, man. All right, so now since Maxi, you won, yeah. Dennis, you still need to press the buzzer. Come, follow me. Yeah, okay, I'll just press it and end it. Press, press it, and we'll spin. And it's gonna land on He's Easter so Bunny. Great. All right, guys. Before we recap this episode, let's all take a group photo to commemorate this moment. All right, come, come, come. Huh? Yes, and you have to post it up on the day this show goes live. No, no. Can I, uh, social media I, I is the can, new frontier. I can give the picture for you for like your private collection. Camera, camera there, camera there. I, I can't mean. see, guys. Where? It's it's you see my head, okay? okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Alright guys, are you ready to recap today's lessons? Yeah. My feet is killing me. Hey, hey, slowly, slowly. So the first principle we learned today was? Uh, paralyzed gratification. No. Logic doesn't matter. <laughs> no. It was called decision paralysis. Sometimes things like financial planning can seem very daunting. Yep. But this doesn't mean that you shouldn't plan, you know? Speaking to the right people, such as financial advisors, mm. might help make a clearer path and decision making for you. So the second lesson we learned was? Opportunity cost. Yeah. Alright, all choices come at a cost. So choose wisely and for the long run. Okay, okay. faster, faster, just my Okay, 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 okay. The third thing we learned today. Don't let your mother choose your wardrobe. No! <laughs> oh, yeah, my calves are killing me. Delay gratification. Ugh. It's oftentimes better to wait. So for example, if you have $100 today, instead of splurging it and spending it, yeah. you can instead invest. Oh. And it will mean more and bring more to you in the future. So I guess that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much to my guests for joining us. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye! No, the, the camera's there. Yeah, Red. yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. Bye! Uh, I think you missed it. No, yeah. She delayed. Not, no gratification, I just delayed. I can't see where the camera is. Call gratification. <laughs> no gratification. <laughs>